Hello my dear family members I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming Delta tax exam as all of you know guys Delta tax had started their on campus drive a long day back now they are doing their last phase of hiring so try to grab the opportunity in hire package in Delta X and let's show off to your parents okay so let me share the coding questions they have asked uh, recent in the recent drive so that will be very much helpful for you so one medium one easy and one hard coding questions will be asked to you and among these i'm going to share today's question that is regarding the eg questions okay so let me share that so the question was this but before that guys please do subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and please please do share this content with your friend okay okay so the question was uh, the gist of the question is this but the question uh, looks like very big but still the gist of the question is this given an array error of size n the task is to printing k largest elements in an array so array is provided like this and k value is printed like k is uh, 3 4 2 1 this way and you have to print the number of k's largest value that means here sorry in this array what are the largest values uh, sorry if i just uh, rearrange these values like this uh, 1 23 12 9 sorry, sorry sorry if i just rearrange these values like this 1 2 9 12 23 and 30 then 50 so this is in ascending order we have sorted right so the largest values from 50 30 and 23 this way we can go right so k is equal to 3 you have to print so total three largest values you have to print from this array 50 30 and 23 for this this is the output okay and if the value of k is 2 then only 50 and 30 should be printed so the task is basically a very clear that you have to sort the array in ascending order or in descending order anything you can then you have to implement uh, a for loop to print the kth uh, largest values from the array okay nothing else so i hope you understood so let me just show you the solutions and if you can the if you can solve the problem then give the solution in python java or c++ in any preferred language in the comment section i'll give you a heart okay and i'll also share your name in the next video okay so let me share the answer but before that guys if you have not purchased the premium Dell text materials in which you will get all the recent coding questions with answers all the previous year questions technical questions as well as the interview experiences are there so as you can see students have given us five star rating and also we have been performed very well uh, like here as you can see we are top with 0.1 percent performer in top mate and also you can see the feedback uh, from uh, the below visit topmate.io slash techno underscore there you can see everything so i hope you will consider it the link will be given in the description box okay so the answer is shown to you here so uh as you can see guys so at first the value of k sorry this is the driver code so value of arrays are hard coded values of k is also hard coded and this is the value we have to print k largest uh, this is the uh, function name and this is the argument like array and k okay so let me just uh, show you the implementation of the function so k largest and it is taking at first the length of the array n is equal to length of the array then we are running a for loop for what to um, to sort the array in descending order okay to sort the array in descending order so what we have to do at first we are guessing we are, we are guessing the first element first id uh let me just share that let's say so let me hmm, what happened okay okay so let's say uh this is the array right 1 23 12 9 30 and 50 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 are the indexes right so now at first we are running a for loop to go through all the elements right now the first uh, variable max idx it is storing first index 0 okay first index 0 so in the next uh, for loop in the uh, nested for loop what we are doing we are going from the next element 
so this was the ith value so this is the i, I plus one value okay so we are going from i plus one to n okay to compare the values so at first we are checking if array j so if this value at first if array j is greater than array max idx so max idx we have assumed the first element is the max element so if array j this value is greater than this value if yes if yes then as reassign the max idx value as j okay reassign the value as j not the value just the index okay then uh, after after the next iteration after the next iteration what we are doing again we are checking uh, if the array i value array j value that is here as of now array j value that is uh, 12 is it greater than the earlier value 23 no okay as it is no so it will skip and then uh, in the next value it will check it will keep checking okay when it is here it will check 30 is greater than 23 so the max idx will be uh, 4 and in the next iteration it is 2 so it will not consider it and then in the last iteration it will check uh, that uh, 50 is greater than 30 so the max idx will be 6 okay now it will check so max idx is 6 at the end of the for loop at the end of this for loop max idx is equal to 6 the index okay array i com so what we are doing here we are just swapping swapping array ith value that means the first value first value and array max idx index okay that is sixth array sixth value so array i was one and array six was 50 so we have just swapped the value so that will be like uh, uh, the array i that means the first value of that array will be 50 that means we are just storing the values from largest to the lowest right so descending order largest to lowest so at first we have stored the maximum value then in the next iteration we'll keep checking so ith value will be increased so this ith value will be one now so if it is one then it will start from the two second index right so from 20 uh, so 12 will be compared with the last value okay so this way it will keep checking and if it will keep checking if the uh, if the array j the value is greater than the array max idx value if it is then at the end of the for loop it will again uh, have it will again have the largest value from this value to this value okay then if uh, it found a uh, max value then it will uh, swap the value with the second and the last value or the max value okay i hope you understood so this way we are just swapping the values and getting the largest value at the first and the lowest value at the end okay so i hope you understood so this way it will keep just storing now here we are doing the print operations that is we are just printing kth largest value so we have to print kth largest value that means three is the k value right so we have to print this k value that means three print uh, three largest value so this is what we are just printing nothing else so let me just run the code and let me show you how it is running and uh, one questions may have arised in your mind that th is this a real questions yeah, like this type of questions will be really asked and very honestly this type of questions will be asked because the first coding questions will be easy but the medium and the last questions will be a little bit moderate or hard level okay so as you can see i have changed the value k is equal to 2 and it should be 50 and 30 and as expected right so guys if you want uh, the prime materials in which you will get all the latest questions with answers hard questions medium questions all are included there so please visit topmate.com and if you cannot purchase then please damn me at my standard i'll try to assist you and also please do subscribe to this channel and watch the playlist regarding any comment that you want and and please share this content with your friend thank you for today's session